Hey folks, Space Weather 101 took the form of the video How to Watch the Sun, first link below this video. But Space Weather 102 will take the form of multiple real-time relevant examinations of space weather tracking. Quite obviously, here at the end of June 22nd, we're tracking the CME produced by the M2 solar flare on the morning of June 21st. In this morning's news, I stated an error on my part in my judgment from the previous day that the CME would miss our planet. It's contradicted by NASA's judgment, they indeed believe the CME will deliver a glancing blow to our planet tomorrow or Monday. Remember, this model is made by NASA in judgment of all the info they have, it does not stream data from a satellite or anything. Well, NOAA has given us their judgment as well, usually comes after NASA's, and they appear to disagree with NASA's endless spiral. This is actually quite common, but it's quite plain to see on both the density and speed spirals that CME is expected to miss our planet in NOAA's judgment. So which do you believe? How about we don't take anyone's word for this, we do our own check. SOHO took a while to update, but after the eruption we can see that, despite the tight coiling ejection of plasma, the breadth of influence was vast. Look how widely this eruption pushed the coronal particles based on the position of the flare itself. I'll attempt to adjust the picture to make this stand out more, but see the fact that a southeastern eruption set particles this far north and west suggests that the line of plasma cut off by the opaque disk blocking the sun's glare might be coming right at our planet. It would surely be a glancing blow, and in my judgment, it's too close to call from here. But that's what the stereo spacecraft are for. Let me assist their labeling. First, you always want to use the spacecraft oppositely positioned to the flare to judge if it's coming at Earth, so we'll use stereo A. Mercury should be visible on the core too. Earth off to the left here, you see the eruption leaving 360 degrees, indicating a wide blast, and we do indeed see ejecta heading towards Earth. I will say yes, it is likely that Earth will receive a glancing blow, but it appears to be the weaker of the ejecta visible here, so I do not expect geomagnetic storms from it. Keep up with the news for solar wind monitoring of this event. Here is the latest solar wind from just before June 23rd. It's continued elevated solar wind speed from the coronal hole facing Earth a few days ago, while that big boy was still out on the limb turning in. Faster stream began ramping protons, but radiation has shifted negative as we appear to be in a major electron flux event. We also have the wind from this big guy to watch for. See you in the morning. Be safe, everyone.